Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage along with Quinn, Kevin, and Cameron. I always mix their names up so I had to like look back at point. <laughs> but uh, we got some cars here and we're gonna do some walk around video here early and then throughout the day. Some of us just can have music playing one up, but enjoy. By the way, this is Cache Valley Cruising in Logan, Utah, uh, 2024. So I'm gonna start by showing you the cars that we brought. And these are some of the cars out of our own collections. Um, as you guys all know, this is the Max Wagon. Uh, we got it back. It has the 500 stroker with those sweet aluminum heads. And uh, we did finally wash the car for the very first time. And we installed the back seat so we can scare even more people. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna be doing some video on this upcoming. We're still working the bugs out. And then we're gonna take it racing love this car this is kevin's valiant gasser you guys probably seen this at duct tape drags in the background of some other stuff it's got a 440 and a four speed in fact the 440 that's in it is the original one from the max wagon so this car is pretty pretty quick pretty wild and uh we're gonna do some video on that eventually and uh kevin and cameron built this in their driveway then of course super coupes here the Fugitive made it. Um, I did drive it. The rod is knocking pretty bad, so uh, it's definitely gonna need a new engine or have that one pulled out. Uh, love that car. This is our Electra, and if you guys would like to see something with that car, just let me know. There's gonna be a video of this car. This is my boss's 66 Chevelle, and it has an awesome story. And one of these days we're gonna film it, but I'll give you just a little sneak peek yeah um yeah we'll do a video on that here at some point this is one of the impala wagons this is called uh, red delicious 2 this car is pretty cool uh really neat looks really cool with the impala over here i'll show you that in a second but got bucket seats with a console red interior and uh, at some point we'll do a video with these cars because they're kind of twins uh, this is black beauty and ain't she a beauty that car is actually so much fun to drive i drove it down main street the other day this car has like 20,000 original miles on it and we picked it up out of canada uh, i can't remember the guy's name but he also has a youtube channel if i can find it i will tag him uh, then you guys have seen this in a few things this one is DJ 70 Roadrunner, uh, real inviolate FC7 car. Then we've got the 67 RT, which I've got the video almost made on this one. So it will be out shortly. You'll probably see this video before, but we just picked this car up. That is a sweet car. This is El Gato. This is Devin's uh, 67 Wildcat convertible. It has a lot of history with the family as well. A uh, really cool car. And then the 442. This car, I need to do a video just because it's crazy. So as you know, DD Auto and Salvage were a scrapyard. This car came across the scale. Somebody actually scrapped this car and it is a real W30 442. This is Daniel's Super B. It's a Cornet Super B clone, but uh, very well done. And it's a beautiful car, has a 440 in it. Of course, you know Walter, the 69 340 Swinger. Um, this is Cameron's. This is a 67 Dart that he got from me. We actually took it down to Muscle Cars at the Strip this year, but we weren't able to really do much with it because it was having problems. But it's got a four speed, 360 tunnel ram. It's gonna be pretty awesome. You just saw it in a short the other day when he was like trying to clean it really good and damn, did it shine. And then this is our 07 Daytona. We actually got that at an IAA auction, and I mean, it's just kind of cool. Uh, then really quick, I'll walk down here and show you a couple other cars that uh, are friends. Um, these little Model Ts here, we're gonna probably do a video on them. These are my friend Carson's, and uh, he drives these. He's 25 years old, loves this old stuff. He's into blacksmithing and all sorts of things like that. and drives these like you'll see him go down the road all of that stuff 
So we're gonna do a video on this and some of his blacksmith stuff in the future. And really, really pretty cool. And then over here, this is my friend Dave's 56 Chrysler, all ratty. And he basically daily drives that just because it's fun. I mean, why wouldn't you? So, kind of a cool car. But yeah, we're gonna walk around the show here in a little bit after it starts opening up more. Uh, this is, they say it's the biggest car show in Utah. And this is like just part of it. There's a whole whole bunch more up top and over on that side. And uh, Anyway, but really quick, while I'm right here and thinking about it, I wanna show you this scamp. <clears throat> so when I was 16 years old, I picked up a 1971 Scamp that was virtually identical to this one, other than mine had a V8 and this one's just got a six cylinder. I paid $3 for it, delivered. The guy wanted me to buy him two cans of beer. I was only 16, so I couldn't buy it, but I gave him the money and had one of these for three bucks. Same color combination. And man, was it a fun little car. Had an eight and three quarter, 318. And you know, I souped it up as much as a 16 year old could afford. But anyway, well, we'll walk around here in just a little bit and get some more video. So check out Maxine. You guys probably know this car from Farm Fresh Fabrications. Be sure to go give them a subscribe. This car is awesome. And if you don't know the story of it, check out his channel, like I said, and you'll see a lot. He calls it Maxine because it's a uh, combination of Christine and Mad Max. Has a Cummins in it. You uh, may have seen some video of it from uh, Muscle Cars at the Strip this year out on the autocross. Uh, if I recall, I think he got the trophy for the slowest car, but uh, dang, it was fun to watch. It was very dramatic. Yeah, this thing is sweet. And we may be doing some collaboration in the future. Uh, we're talking about doing some stuff. Tyler's a way cool guy. Like I said, go check him out. So, so awesome. So anybody watching from Utah 
knows that there's no drag strip in Utah anymore. So these guys are really trying to bring one back. So there's a petition you can sign here at the Cruise Inn or online at www.udrc.us. Let's get another drag strip back in Utah because there are a bunch of racers here and no place to go within like quite a few hours. I think Boise and Evanston has a small track, you got Grand Junction, but those are basically the closest tracks. So be sure to support this cause and uh, get online and sign that petition. So I wanted to walk around the 68 Roadrunner. This may very well be my favorite car here. Blue on blue, white top. I don't know if it is a survivor or restored, but this car is just absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen under the hood, but geez. I love the wheels, redline tires, hubcaps. I would totally drive this car got automatic can't really see in there it has the tack bench seat try to get out here and get a better long shot really really just it's perfect that car is gorgeous so just saw this here this thing is actually sweet i'd love to have this with the super coupe look at that awesome plaid interior maybe you can see it buckets in a wagon how cool I would drive the heck out of this thing. Nice. It's got a 318 and AC according to that sign. This car is pretty, pretty sweet.
So here's another car some of you guys might know. Uh, one of the gambler cars. Also Tyler from Farm Fresh Fabrication. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet. That is a big, big Nova. It's pretty sweet. These are all the gambler guys. Or some of them, I guess. Not all of them, of course. It's pretty wild, huh? And like I said, be sure to go give Farm Fresh Fabrication a subscribe and check out all their shenanigans. They do a lot of crazy stuff. Here's some uh, good guys in white hats, 67s, the match. This is a 67 Charger, 383 Magnum car, and this is 67 Cornet RT, original 440 car, but it has a 426 Hemi that is DLI built, Declandy Incorporated. I've known these cars since I was like 15, 16 years old, and I remember seeing that engine on the engine stand, and he had a valve cover that was all smashed and had the DLI on it and it was just hanging on his wall and he told me the story that uh while Dick Landy while I was down there and they were building it Dick Landy himself backed over the valve cover in one of his cars and so he got out and signed it and gave it to the guy that owned the car so I don't know if they still have the valve cover but I sure hope so and what a cool story uh gorgeous cars they are original paint and everything like I said, I've known these cars over 25 years. Just beautiful cars. If I recall that one, the Charger was bought by the old owner's uncle originally. Um, just neat stuff. And when do you see a, a real DLI built 426 Hemi? So. Here's a really pretty 71 Hemi Cuda convertible clone. I love the all black, the black bumpers and the black billboard. It just looks really sinister. I'd hate to get in this thing in the hot sun though. But yeah, really pretty car. Yeah, now you can see the black billboard on the black. It just looks really cool.
So there's even a swap meet down here. And it's kind of fun. There's some some interesting and kind of cool stuff. Old antiques and whatnot. So just kind of a quick run through real quick. Old Tonkin, Buddy L stuff. Some uh, wheels, lots of wheels. Just a bunch of random, you know, like you usually see a swap meet. Check out that old T. That's cool. That'd be a really cool model if I was still into models. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of running through quick. Want some DVDs? Get up here, you got like cool automotive stuff, non-automotive stuff. And then if you want some rings, you can buy some rings from these young kids for 50 cents each. You guys want to sell the YouTube viewers a ring? Yeah. yeah. See, look at that selection. And then the only really cool Mopar stuff here, it's a six pack setup for a 440. And we got this really cool STR12 intake that I was going to use on something, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. And you got Quinn and Dylan. And uh, the famous $5 table that any of you guys have seen me at a swap meet have seen. We always do a $5 table. But it's just a lot of fun, just a lot of random stuff. Uh, anyway, we're going to go back over here to the show. It's always crazy what shows up to the car corral. Any of you guys that watch Roadkill or Roadkill Garage know this. Uh, the ugly truckling, I think is what it was called. Uh, anyway, yeah, kind of interesting that it's right here in this little show. Well, another successful Cash Valley cruise in. As you can see, we got five Mopars in the driveway. Uh, that's how a driveway should look. How cool is that? And the Super B did make it back, but just it's actually leaking all over right now so that sucks so definitely going to need a 440 transplant in the future but i mean that's more horsepower i don't know um but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video also like i showed you we got some cool shirts cool hats lots of new designs so be sure to check out the merch shop down here below there's the link help support the channel um, help us grow we really appreciate it we appreciate all the viewers all the support love meeting you guys out in the wild it's pretty cool um anyway thanks again for watching have an absolutely awesome week